Yes, please. Um, related to this question, um, I was writing a play about a historical Japanese Canadian family and uh, set in wartime. Then uh, my father decided to start dying of cancer, and so I went to New Brunswick where he was. And I know he wanted to see this play, but it didn't have any Asian actors in New Brunswick I asked around. So I rewrote it for a couple of white guys wearing tattoos, and that stood in for ethnicity, basically. Uh, so the play was staged at the Fringe Festival. And I'm wondering now, should I go back to the original play and write it historically, or this play is done, should I just go with that? Or can I write two plays about the same, the same storyline? What do you want to do? Like, what are you excited about doing? I think that's what you should do, probably. You know, like what you're excited about doing, what makes you get up in the morning and go, I want to work on this. You know, I think that's what you should do. Never let someone else make that decision for you. Never. I remember when I first started teaching at New Dramatist in New York, and the very first class I had, this one guy said, um, Okay, I got this play I wrote, and uh, if we can read it today, great. And if you like it, I'll keep writing it. And if you don't like it, I'll throw it away. And I said, no, 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 you, that's a stupid thing to say. You don't do that. Um, you don't give someone else that responsibility. So he, it was an army play, he, it was read. There was a, it was about a gay character. It was a cliched gay character. and I pointed it out and he said, okay, I'm not going to write it anymore. And he said, but is it okay if I still come to the class? And I'm thinking, oh, now what? And then I said, okay, yes, you can still come to the class. And he would, every class, every exercise I would give someone, he would say, well, why are you giving them that exercise? And I'm going, oh, man, have I made a stupid mistake here. Um, and this went on for six weeks where everything I said to someone or gave was questioned. So on the sixth week, someone else had written a, an army play. And after we read it, this guy raised his hand and he said, I got to tell you what happened last night. Um, you know, I've been listening to this guy give you these exercises for six weeks, not knowing why the hell he's doing that. But the other night, um, I was sitting in my room and imagining the stage. And remember my gay character? Well, his brother came out on stage and said to me, I don't like the way you're treating my brother. And so I'm rewriting the play now. So it, you, A, um, as a teacher, you can't, you can't rely on giving something out and getting an immediate response, because that's deadly. But he was able to make his own decision, ultimately. And that's, that's all you can ever really do.